Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, the in-game news for Global's new campaign just dropped about 30 minutes ago. So, as always, we're gonna pop into the news and find out exactly what's going on together. So, the new campaign is called Starry Winter Night Frosty Dokkan Campaign. The Starry Winter Night Frosty Dokkan Campaign is on. Starry Winter Night Tons of Thanks tickets, which are these rainbow tickets can be obtained upon the first login after Sunday, November 27th, 2022, which is tonight. And uh, I believe I read that in total, between the logins and also the missions, everyone should be able to get up to 21 tickets, which is pretty nice. That's pretty nice. And on top of that, we have a new Dokkan event, a new Extreme Z Battle event, 25th Explosive Chain Battle, and the renewal of a Super Strike event, which is for the Int King Vegeta. In addition, new SSR Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Vegeta and Super Saiyan uh, Trunks Future, who can be Dokkan Awakened into an LR, will show up in the Dokkan Festival and also the Starry Winter Night Dokkan Festival, which is the special banner, which you know features the new LR as well as the seventh anniversary LRs. So uh, I believe they're dropping at different times. The Dokkan Festival is dropping tonight, and then the uh, Starry Winter Night banner is dropping in about a week from now. So yeah, join various events and enjoy Dokkan Battle. So from the top, we have the special missions and login bonus, pretty standard stuff. And then we have a co-op campaign, which is basically something where we you know, work together to complete missions and get rewards. And then we have the Dokkan Festival banner for the Trunks and Vegeta, along with the uh, side unit, which is AGL Goku Black. Uh, I did make a pass or pull video yesterday for this banner going over the featured units, the details for both LRs, or sorry, the LR and the side unit, and also their animations. So if you guys wanna find out exactly what these guys do and uh, exactly how good they are, then feel free to go check that out. And uh, there will be a ticket version of the banner as well. And speaking of tickets, we have the Power of Pride and Hope packs, which are available for sale tonight once the banner drops. And uh, these are, you know, the ticket packs for the Dokkan Fest banner, and they should be the same price as like previous packs. So I'm actually not sure how much it costs in the US, but about 40 to 45 Canadian, you get about 20 tickets and like a bunch of other like random rewards, some orbs, skill orbs, meats, all that good stuff. So if you guys want to buy the tickets, these are the packs. And of course, a stone pack, or sorry, stone sale as well. But this time it's broken up into two separate sales. The first sale drops tonight. We got 32 stones uh, twice for 50% off and then 93 stones uh, five times at the price of 63 stones. So that's like a standard stone sale. But then on the fifth, which is when the uh, Starry Winter Night banner drops, we get a second sale, which is uh, one 12 stone pack, one 32 stone pack, four 93 stone packs, and then a special 150 stone pack at the price of 91 stones. So yeah, definitely um, an above average stone sale overall, I would say, but still nothing compared to like what we get for the anniversaries or anything like that, right? From there, we have a bond of parent and child category summon, which is the new category. Actually, no, it's not a new category because technically it already existed on global, but the Trunks and Vegeta are the first legitimate leaders for the category. Now, as I always say, category banners are very, very bad value for your stones. The only exception was the Heroes banner, right? The Heroes category banner with the discounts, that was definitely worth it because the Heroes units are getting really good with their Dokkan Awakenings and Extreme Z Awakenings. So that was the only category banner that I felt like people should be summoning on. This one is definitely like most of the others, stay away not worth your stones, do not summon on this banner. After that, we have the standard Elder Kai banner and the token event for the Trunks and Vegeta. And uh, also the renewal of the King Vegeta event where we get the stages for his token awakening medals and also his extreme Z awakening medals. From there, we have a new stage of infinite Dragon Ball history. We have a new boss rush, which is an easy 35 stones. We have a quadruple rank EXP for people that want to farm rank or 
farm incredible gems, farm link levels, all that good stuff. Uh, increased success rates in training, and a bunch of returning events as well. So we got the Future Trunk Saga event, the uh, Defeat the Legendary Super Saiyan event, Hope Fight Against Despair, and also the Zero Mortals Plan event, all uh, permanently available, or rather available for the duration of the campaign from tonight until uh, New Year's, it looks like, January 1st. And then a couple of reopenings for Extreme Z areas. This one's for the trunks and also the uh, free-to-play androids. And then the second one is for the LR uh, Goku Black. And the reopening of a Prime Battle event for the first form cell. We have the special Starry Winter Night Dokkan Festival, which is uh, coming out on the 5th, December 5th. And there's a bunch of different Whoa, okay, there's a bunch of different versions of this banner. The first one is like a reg... Wait, wait, hold on. Okay, so we have discounts for 120 hours, right? I'm guessing it's like 3 plus 1, right? So like 3 multis, full price, and then the fourth multi is free. Kind of like we get for like Dual Dokkan Fest and stuff like that. And then we also have your regular Dokkan Festival banner, right? After the discount period is over. But then on top of that, we have... Um, a Dokkan Festival ticket summon. So, what that sounds like to me, right, this third one right here, what that sounds like to me is that while the discount period is going, or maybe even after the 120 hours discounts, um, we're going to be getting tickets for every stone multi that we do, right? So, this is outside of the rainbow tickets. We should be getting, like, you know, special Dokkan Festival tickets for doing each multi. And then we can use those to summon on this Dokkan Festival Ticket Summon. I feel like I didn't really explain it too well. It might be a little bit confusing, but the point is we're getting 3 plus 1 discounts. We're getting tickets for doing summons. And then we're getting the rainbow tickets for doing missions and logins. And then we can also buy more tickets through this Starry Winter Night Pack. Hopefully that made sense. Hopefully you guys all understand. If not, I apologize. Okay, so that's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. Um, I wasn't expecting all these different things for this banner, but they definitely seem to want people to summon on this. So uh, yeah, they gave us a lot of incentives this year. A lot of incentives to pull on this banner. And from there, we have a new Extreme Z Dokkan Festival, and also, of course, the actual Extreme Z Battle event for the Tech Vegito Blue, an SDR Rosé, two of the most highly anticipated Extreme Z Awakenings on Global uh, for a lot of people, definitely for me. So these guys are finally getting their Extreme Z Awakenings on December 5th, and uh, we're getting a new uh, Infinite Dragon Ball, sorry, we're getting a new Virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash on the 5th as well. We're getting the new Chain Battle against uh, Fusion Zamasu on the 5th, and also a new Super Battle stage and all Dokkan events available, I guess, throughout the campaign starting from the 5th. So just a lot of stuff, man. Just a lot of stuff. Uh, the most surprising thing to me, I mean, I expected most of this stuff, like the Extreme Z Battle, Ultimate Clash, Chain Battle, all that stuff, we kind of saw coming, right? But I didn't realize just how hard they were going to push us to summon on the Starry Winter Night Dokkan Festival banner because I think originally this would have been a pretty easy skip for me but now that we see there's like the discounts there's the tickets all that crazy stuff um it's gonna be tough it's gonna be tough to not at least do a couple of rounds on this banner right here so we'll see but anyways that is gonna do it for uh, the new celebration guys. Uh, there's a lot of new events, a lot of new stuff coming. Uh, definitely one of the more eventful campaigns we've had on Global in a very long time. And uh, just real quick before we go, let's check out the login bonus because I want to see how many stones we can expect to get. Okay, so it looks like just one stone per day. Okay, that's standard, right? But I was kind of hoping that maybe they would have increased it to two per day just because this seems to be a bit more of a special campaign than normal, but 
Yeah, that's fine. One stone per day, except for the 23rd and the 24th. So the days leading up to Christmas, we get one extra stone every day. So that's the login bonus. Nothing special there. And also the special missions, I think, are pretty normal. We get uh, 14 stones and 12 Starry Winter Night. Tons of thanks tickets for part one. And then uh, probably you know, a few more stones and also some more tickets for part two. So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, that is the Frosty Dokkan Starry Winter Night campaign. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you're the most excited for out of all the things we talked about. And uh, if you guys are going to be summoning for the Trunks and Vegeta tonight, then I wish you the best of luck. Hopefully you pull them with ease. And uh, that's it, guys. That is the video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Video. Signing out.